Welcome to Convergence to Pixels, otherwise known as Convergence TP. Convergence TP is a market leader in bringing text from your IP appliances into your VMS systems. In this video, I will be covering our access control integration into the feature-rich OnisSI Ocularis platform. This platform is ideally suited for this type of an application. For access control, we will be using the Isonis self-contained PoE access control IP appliance. The goal of this video is to demonstrate the seamless integration of this IP appliance into the VMS. Okay, before we jump into the demonstration, I've got a couple slides I'd like to go through that will help better explain where Convergence CP sits within the customer enterprise. On the left-hand side of the screen here, you'll see a number of IP appliances listed. In the center is the Convergence TP Event Streaming Engine, ESC. This patent-pending technology takes in a, a wide variety of dissimilar IP packet protocols from these various IP appliances and creates one homogeneous database that is then presented to the VMS system. In this case, we're talking about access control. This slide is a rudimentary drawing of an access control system. Here in the top left corner, you can see the Isonis reader and then the door and a couple cameras and then some of the IP uh, network infrastructure along with a VMS system and a sample screenshot. When the user use, accesses the control panel, a message is sent via the network and a copy of that message is then sent to Convergence TP Event Streaming Engine where it then creates a camera view of that traffic. This camera view is access compliant video which passes seamlessly through the video surveillance system as a camera which makes it uniquely compatible with the VMS system. As part of the display uh, you get a copy of the image if there's one available for the user as well as their credential information streamed to the screen for immediate viewing or also sent to the recording server for future viewing or tied to our hypermedia search engine for searches on text associated with that video. All right, let's jump into the demo. Okay, as promised, here's the demo. This is the live portion of the demo. On the left-hand side of the screen here, you'll see a, a standard OnSSI Ocularis client set up in a 2x2 two two, uh, layout. All of the screens are Convergence TP cameras, which means these are cameras we control in software. These are not physical cameras, these are software cameras. And what you're looking at here are all splash screens uh, from these cameras. Um, this allows us to set up an environment that looks like an access control environment using our splash screens and uh, makes life easier for, for me to do demos. On the right hand side of the screen is uh, one of the many nice features of Isonis. Um, they've really thought of everything. They have a, uh, a software version of their reader. So this reader is fully functional from a software point of view uh, just like the, the hardware equivalent and it allows me to, uh, to put together a video with a reader on it so you could actually see the interaction between the reader and the, uh, the VMS system. And of course behind the scenes is Convergence TP connecting these two products together. Again emphasizing our value added around the customer's existing investment. Alright, so the only bad thing is I have to type in these uh, badges manually. So let me try to do that quickly and we'll get through this. So 805.322 is my first badge. And you'll see the green light, he was admitted, Steve was admitted, and these are his credentials. So this was simulating Steve doing a card swipe, and this would be the information that would be streamed to the Honest SI screen. There's a 10 second dwell time on these, uh, on these badges, so you'll see them disappear after 10 seconds. You could set that to any time you like, or have them stay there until the next image comes along to push them out. That's completely configurable by the user. Okay, I've got another badge here, 805. 340, and of course uh, this is simulating the real deal. Uh, in the real world, you would you would do a badge swipe. This would be Jesse uh, doing a, a badge swipe, and this would be his information. Again, the green outline signifies he was admitted, and if you look when we first did that, there was a green LED here. Um, I have another badge. Now this one is going to be a reject, and that's the reason there's two convergence information screens. These blue screens are information screens. Uh, 
Um, so let me let me enter in the the reject badge, and that would be an 804 294. Again, simulating an actual badge swipe. So here I am. I'm going to do the swipe now. You'll see um, there was a reject. It was red, red outline. This person was rejected, and now we have a procedure associated with that. So now there's a procedure down here that instructs the guard on what to do in that instance on that particular door uh, when that individual came in as a reject. That's completely configurable by the user and enabled by the Convergence TP engine. All right, um, let me show you another feature we allow you to do. Uh, one of the things that's popular is in a school or in, in, in a regular business, it's, it's common to have the guard have to open up doors from their, from their desk. And the way we allow that to be done is you could actually go to the Anasasai Ocularis client, and if you'll notice, the green light comes on here, and we put on the screen, we're telling you, the user what has just happened. It was an operator admit and uh, this is the the reader it went to the virtual reader in this case the virtual door and so that allows the the operator to if he sees someone at the door to be able to open the door up remotely from their desk and uh, that's kind of a nice feature and that activity is again reported to the Honest Society system. Uh, one other thing I'd like to show, and then we'll get into the hypermedia search engine thing, is um, there's just a, a wealth of, of features within Honest SSI, and I'm just going to touch on them, but one of the features I like personally is their push video feature. So if I again enter the uh, reject badge, which was an 804 294, and again I would be doing a card swipe here. <coughs> you'll see that, was video, that video was pushed based upon that reject event. Very powerful feature and the user again can specify whatever cameras they'd like to be pushed based upon that particular event. That user, that door, you know, that event, whatever it is, it could be a controller failure, uh, whatever you desire, uh, you can create that push video event. All right, let me jump now into uh, the hypermedia search engine and show you some of the features there. Okay, in this portion of the video, I'll be covering our very powerful post-processing tool we call our Hypermedia Search Engine. All right, what we're looking at on the screen here, on the left-hand side, is the actual login into the Hypermedia Search tool. On the right-hand side is our client, which interfaces to the OnSSI video surveillance system to pull up the associated video with the text that we're searching on. Okay, so I'm going to log in, and the first thing you're asked for here is the search type. Um, there are a number of IP appliances we support. I'm going to select access control for this search. We're going to skip the uh, adding of parameters right now. We'll revisit that in a minute. Um, as far as setting the time and date, I'm going to leave the defaults. Spreadsheet is a very powerful new feature we've added that really complements the hypermedia search tool well and list. So let's go to list and what list does is give you a, a list of thumbnails from the most current event at the top of the screen. So if you remember the last thing we did when we were doing our a demo with that virtual reader was we opened a door remotely from the Honest SI Ocularis client. And here you can see the operator admit uh, the virtual reader, virtual door in this case, and any associated video that was recorded with that event. Now normally you would see uh, a FedEx guy or UPS or just someone you wanted to let in uh, at that particular door on the screen there. And uh, this allows the operator from his workstation, from his Ocularis workstation, to be able to open a door remotely without physically having to go there or open another package, uh, an access control software package to, to, to do that admit of the door. It's all done within the VMS system. All right, so let's get into, uh, we'll look at a couple other things uh, here. So if we scroll down and we, we decide we want to watch, uh, monitor a specific individual uh, entering the, uh, a door, let's, uh, let's start with Steve here. So if we pick on Steve and we watch here is Steve coming in the door, and sure enough, that sure it looks like Steve. So we can verify that that access was was correct, and we could do the same with with Jesse. 
and again this is up to the operator what he wants to do but you could certainly monitor the individuals if you have any concern about uh, the right badges being used for for entering your facility um, if you wanted to do some searching using our, our parameters uh, we we have a number of things you could search on uh, let's start with a reject and, and we'll just say um, reject equals false so it's actually an admit and we can go down and we could say what door name well I could say door name equals and then I have to spell it correctly or I could just put true here I could just replace the true here with uh, some portion of the door name so in this case it's the lab door so we'll just go with lab it's good for us and let's say we want to search on a particular name of a person and again we can go with contains and I'm just gonna put in CH as the uh, as part of the name and I could ask for a list at this point um, what that gives me is the if I do an expand all you'll see what was actually received in the IP packet and you'll notice Charlie has a CH in it and Chapman has a CH in it so that, that narrows the search down a little bit and if I decided I wanted to click on this I could see well now this doesn't look like Chris to me um, someone has been swapping badges or, or there's something just not right about uh, with what's going on with Chris's badge so you could actually do some verification that way um, if I wanted to see a spreadsheet view of this I, I select a spreadsheet it gives me some default parameters here that are going to show up on the spreadsheet I could delete them I could add new parameters if I'd like I'm going to stick with the defaults for now and if I say view that brings up the spreadsheet view of this particular search and of course the cameras are still linked in so if you wanted to see the uh, camera view you get the camera view from the spreadsheet as you did with the list format and uh, these this this particular spreadsheet or any spreadsheet created um, we could then do uh, an export uh, to comma separated variables and you could bring that into whatever spreadsheet tools you're used to working with um, in this case we're using Excel and in, in this example uh, that the, the output of our spreadsheet tool was used to uh, create a chart uh, in this case they were tracking extended door opens using the Isonis reader and they wanted to track how many times the freezer door was left open for an extended period of time this could be an expensive proposition um, so this chart was was created to help track that and uh, again you could you could do anything uh, that Excel allows you to do uh, with that comma separated output from our hypermedia search tool okay in the interest of time limitations uh, for videos on YouTube I'm gonna have to end our video demonstration of our access control integration here uh, as you might expect uh, there's quite a few features within the hypermedia search tool that uh, we didn't get a chance to explore but feel, please feel free to contact us at www.c2p.com and request your own demo uh, we can do a webinar for your specific needs or you could explore our website for other IP appliances you may be interested in integrating with um, please also visit our technology partners for this integration at their respective websites thanks